continue our discussion about autocorrect. I want to expand it into equations. So first thing I want to show you is if I go to my insert tab, over under symbols here, you have an option called equation. So I'm just going to put a normal equation in here. Now, if I wanted to insert a symbol, there's a bunch of symbols here that I can quickly click on to insert them. However, if I'm doing a lot of these equations and I find it a little bit tedious to find them, what I can do is I can remember the command to insert a certain symbol. So as an example, if I wanted to insert the symbol of, let's say, omega, if I type backslash omega, as soon as I hit space, it autocorrects it to the omega symbol. Now, there's a lot of these symbols available to us. Before I show you where they are, the other item I want to uh, show you is that if I'm in my normal document and I type backslash omega and hit space, nothing happens. It doesn't work. And if we wanted that to work, we do have a setting that we can simply change and that's going to fix that. So where you need to go is your autocorrect options. I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to options, and then I'm going to go to proofing, and then click autocorrect options. So you have a tab in here called math autocorrect. And as you can see, there's a bunch of mathematical symbols that you have here, where if you scroll down, it shows you if you type this in, this is what you're going to get. So if you do a lot of equations in Word, these can actually be really handy to uh, you know, put into the old memory banks so that I can easily access them without having to go through that insert symbol process. So that's the first thing. Second thing in here is use math autocorrect rules outside of math regions. So if I didn't insert an equation and I check this box, hit OK, I'm gonna hit OK again. So this is an equation and those autocorrects will work automatically. But if I'm in my regular document and now I've activated that checkbox you'll see that it will work here as well so I don't actually have to be in an equation field in order for that to work so these are some additional options related to equations and math symbols uh, in a word and if you do a lot of that hopefully this video is going to help you out